welcome back to Makeup by Mama G. This is the second Valentine's Day tutorial this week. And it's just um, a really pinky, purpley, kind of smoky eye. The inner part has a soft pink. And then this is kind of like a metallic red, but it looks pink in the lighting. But the one on the lid is like a metallic red. And then we got purples and browns on the crease in the outer V. And we did like a plum cheek and lips and... Yeah, Jason and I are getting ready to go on our Valentine's date. Valentine's Day date. Yeah. So, hope you guys like this tutorial. Talk to you guys later. I already applied my Bare Minerals eyelid primer, and now I'm taking Alabaster Concealer and I'm just patting it and blending it all over the eyelid. And then I'm blending the edges out just so they're not so harsh. Now I'm taking Raven Beauty Soft Rose Eyeshadow. It's a very pretty, just soft rose and has a little slight gold tone to it. I love it. Now I'm taking Raven Beauty's Drama Queen Eyeshadow. This is a gorgeous metallic red. Super, super pigmented. I had only a little bit on my brush. And look how pigmented that is. That was just like a really, really small bit of shadow. And right now I'm trying to blend it into that soft rose and I'm trying to keep the edges soft looking. I'm going to have to pick up a little bit more, tap off that extra, and then apply it to the rest of the eyelid. Now I'm taking this gorgeous dark purple shadow. It has a slight red tone to it so it goes perfect with this red eyeshadow that we just applied. And I'm just applying it to my outer V. And now I'm going to get my Sedona Lace Blending Brush. And I'm just going to blend it out. I'm now taking Dark Truffle. It's a matte brown eyeshadow. And I'm just using another Sedona Lace eyeshadow. This is just going to create that smoky look to it. I'm going to take Exotic Bloom. Kind of reminds me of um, a pinkish purple. Cosmic Violet from Ben Nye. That's what it was. That's what I was thinking. And then I'm taking Soft Rose again with an angled eyeshadow brush and I'm just blending that edge out. And then I'm taking Bronze Blowout. This is a Maybelline duo. And I'm taking a dome brush and I'm just going to create my highlight underneath my brow. And then I'm also going to apply a little bit to the tear duct area just to brighten up. Then I'm taking the Alabaster Concealer once again and I need to pick up a little bit more. There we go. I got it all over the eye. Now I'm taking Drama Queen. I need to pick up a little bit more again. And I'm just going to pat it all along my bottom lash line, the outer half. And then I'm taking Soft Rose Eyeshadow. I'm just going to apply that in the inner part of the bottom lash line. And then I'm going to take Dark Truffle again and put it on the outer part, connecting it to the top part. So this is Maybelline's Define Line. Just gonna tight line real quick, do my waterline, and then I'm taking Gemma Kids liquid eyeliner and lining the top. These are Daisy's Beauty number 21 lashes. These are my favorite lashes. They're so comfortable and they just create a really good length because my lashes are so short. Now I'm just gonna apply my face primer. Always use a face primer before applying your foundation. It helps your skin look just a lot more smoother and doesn't show your pores as much. Now I'm just going to apply my concealer where my blemishes are. And then I'm using Bare Minerals Tan Foundation. It's my favorite foundation. I love that foundation. And then I'm just going to touch up my highlight area. I didn't think it was light enough so I'm just using a light concealer. And then I am taking my new face powder brush from Sedona Lace and I'm setting my foundation with Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. This is Vintage Grape Blush from MAC and I'm using the darker side to contour my cheeks first and then I'm going to pick up the softer side, the softer color, and apply that to the apples of my cheeks. This is MAC's Belightful Iridescent Powder. I love it because it has tons of glitter. It's a great highlight powder for the cheeks. Now I am taking Baby Dreams Lip Liner from Jordana. Jordana? Jordana. 
and I'm just lining my lips and then I'm just going to quickly fill them in. I like doing that before putting my lipstick on. This is Max Radicchio or Radicchio, Radicchio, Radicchio lipstick. I love this color. And then I'm going to take Sally Henson's Diamond 12 Hour Treatment Lip Gloss in Love Struck. It's a very pretty purple. And that's pretty much the look, guys. I'm going to get my hair ready, throw some clothes on, and then I will be showing you guys the whole look. So this is the final look, guys. You know, it's a little hard to see in this lighting. This lighting sucks. But that is the final look. I hope you guys like it. That's a pretty good lip gloss for only a dollar. This is from Dollar Tree. Sally Hansen, Dollar Tree. Looks pretty good. So, hope you guys like this look. Hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. Say hi, babe. Hi, babe. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Be sure to check everything out at ravingbeautycosmetics.ecreator.com and check out my other Valentine's Day tutorial right here by clicking the box. Thanks for watching everyone. Talk to you all soon.